Okay everybody, today's video we're going to cover how to replace the cylinder head gasket on your Briggs & Stratton L-head engine. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top cover and starter mechanism off just to give myself a little bit more room. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the spark plug wire and remove the spark plug. Now it's time to remove the head bolts. We have eight head bolts here. You can see them all the way around the head here. Um, and whenever you later, whenever you tighten these down, you're going to have a torque sequence you need to follow. And that sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm actually going to loosen them in that order as well whenever I take the cylinder head off. Now that we've loosened them, we can remove each of them. And I recommend <clears throat> keeping track of where each bolt was so you can put them back in the same spot later. Some of these engines have different length bolts depending on which part of the head you're on. This particular engine doesn't, but keep that in mind that yours may be different. And what I'm doing to keep track of that is that I traced out a pattern with the new head gasket, poke the holes in all the locations for the holes. Now whenever I remove each head bolt, I'm going to put it in its respective place on this template. Okay, so now we have the head removed, we can also go ahead and pull the old head gasket off. Sometimes some of that may stick and you should have to scrape it. Just use something that's not going to damage the, the block because these are aluminum on some of these engines, so be careful. You can see we have quite a bit of carbon deposits on the piston and valves as well as the combustion chamber here. So I think I'm actually going to take a few minutes and clean that up. Um, you can use a brass brush and some solvent um, as well as you know, some, some sort of scraper that's not going to damage the aluminum. Just be careful. You also want to make sure that you get all the old gasket material off of both surfaces so that the new gasket has a good place to mate to. All right, let's see if we can get some of this carbon going up off.
Okay, so now that we got everything cleaned up, it's time to go ahead and put the cylinder head back on. Put all the bolts back in. Only finger tightening for now. Okay, so now that everything's finger tight, we can torque everything down through the sequence that I showed earlier. Um, but on this engine, the torque spec is 140 inch-pounds for these bolts. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go through that sequence once at half that value and then do it again at the final value. do it to get at the final value. Okay, that's pretty much it. Everything that we have left now is just reassembly of parts we took off in the beginning.